Thank you for purchasing the Intelligent Auto Stopcock, the perfect solution to guard your property against internal flood risk resulting from a burst pipe or failed fitting. This video will run through the installation of your auto stopcock, enabling you to fit your new product with ease. Please use this video in conjunction with the fitting instructions and consult one of our authorized installers if you have any difficulties. Your package contains the main control unit, which can be fixed, either surface mounted or assessed. A brass solenoid valve is standard with this unit for long-term peace of mind. This has compression fittings for ease of installation and connects to the main control unit using the four core cables enclosed. In order to time water flow in your property, you will fit the enclosed water switch to the solenoid valve using a compression fitting also enclosed. Before you start your installation, you will need to locate your current stopcock, which may be either under your sink or under your stairs, and then turn it off in order to isolate the mains water supply prior to any work being carried out. Be sure to check whether this has turned off your mains water supply by turning on the cold taps in the kitchen or bathroom. If you have a cold water tank in the property, make sure this is not refilling from the mains. Once you have checked this, you are ready to start your installation. The auto stopcock unit is fitted immediately after the existing manual stopcock, and you will need to cut out 22.5 cm of your existing pipe using a suitable pipe cutter. Once this is done, the components are fitted in sequence, starting with the pipe connector with compression fittings. The copper flow switch, ensuring that the arrow on the side of the switch runs in line with the water flow, and lastly, the solenoid valve. You are now ready to connect the wiring to both the solenoid valve and the copper flow sensor. Please read your fitting instructions for more details. It is advisable that you locate this switch in a position that is easily accessible, allowing for ease of use. Your auto stopcock switch can be surface mounted or assessed and is connected to the main valve using the 2 meter cable supplied. Connect the wiring from the main valve as detailed in the instructions and insert the 9 volt battery supplied. If you have chosen to exceed the normal 2 meter distance from the valve, we would advise you use two batteries for longevity. You will find two connectors on the control board for this purpose. When your battery starts to run low, the control box will emit an audible alarm, warning you to insert a new battery. You should make sure you have no leaks at the joints. Switch your control unit into the off position and open up your old conventional stopcock. Once this is done, switch your control unit into the on position and check the joints around the valve and flow sensor. If you have any leaks at this stage, turn your conventional stopcock off and tighten up the joints before retesting. As your new auto stopcock has been designed to self-test every seven days, we do not envisage any problems. However, you are covered against any manufacturing faults for a period of 10 years, and this needs to be activated by sending your membership card by post or email as indicated. Congratulations on your new installation.